the difference between meningococcemia and meningitis is meningococcemia is the type of bacteria um, and it, it affects and impacts the bloodstream. It can eventually progress into essentially what is meningitis. The most recent cases here in, at the UVO, January and February cases, were of a group B, which is a relatively new strain, most prevalent in the Northwest. However, until October, there was no actual vaccine for this particular strain. In February, two vaccines were approved, and we now are offering it here to students that would not have had access to it previously. The vaccine has been available here on campus through our health center for several weeks. Interest obviously started to increase as we had more cases develop on campus. The vaccination clinic that you're standing in right now started on Monday, March 2nd, and it will run through Thursday the uh, 5th from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Students are also able, through a partnership that we've arranged, to have the same direct billing options at our partners of Albertsons, Safeway, and Walgreens. Before today started, we were at about 4,500 students that had um, received vaccination through the University of Oregon. I would encourage everybody to get vaccinated. A meningococcal disease is a serious disease. It moves quickly and it can be fatal. The vaccine uh, administration is a quick and easy process. We have a lot of staff here. Um, so it, you can move through quickly, you can get vaccinated, protect yourself, and, and you don't have to worry about getting meningococcal disease. Also all my friends are getting it. It's a, you know, I think it's a smart thing to do. It's always better to be safe than sorry. I think it's a great idea to get the vaccine. I just got it to be on the safe side. I know there's been some cases in the community, so might as well just play it safe.